April is always an exciting month and a time of transition. Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns, and I'm here with Fitwick and Horton the Elephant. And I welcome you to 333 Magic 9, your astrology channel. And now April has a lot of exciting aspects, and here's what they mean for your sign. The month begins as Jupiter squares Pluto. Taurus, the month begins with a power of a Jupiter-Pluto square. Expansive Jupiter in your sixth house of daily routines is challenged by the purging power of Pluto in your ninth house of understanding. Now, new technology and new skills have made you a star and increased your productivity at work. However, the square to Pluto in your ninth house demands that you keep your mind flexible so you understand others and their beliefs. You need to focus on your personal ambitions, for success may be right around the corner. Just curb your ego. Saturn turns retrograde on April 6th. Taurus, Saturn retrograde is always a time for review. And when he's in your eighth house, you must learn from the experiences that you've shared with other people whether in a personal or a business relationship. If you found cooperation and success, continue doing what you're doing. If you've experienced frustration, you must make necessary adjustments. This area of life can bring the deepest personal satisfaction or force a rebirth. You must listen to your soul to find the answer. Before going on to the Mercury retrograde and Mars changing signs, here's an important announcement. There's a life energy all around you. The movies call it one thing. I call it spirit or the psychic. Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns. I've connected people to spiritual guidance for over 40 years. They receive valuable information that help them make changes in their life. Now it's your turn for a psychic and spiritual reading. Call me at 518-434-8727. 518-434-8727. And may the spirit be with you. Mercury goes retrograde on April 9th. Taurus, Mercury goes retrograde in your first house of projection and in your own sign. <laughs> now he suggests that you need to be extra cautious in communications and travel. Watch what you say because your logic filter may be out to lunch. <laughs> Good manners will help mitigate misunderstanding as common sense will help you in communications. Don't be stubborn when you need to be flexible. Mars enters Gemini on April 21st. Mars moves into your second house of resources, stimulating your ambition and giving you more drive for success. If you have a good idea for making money, well, this may be the time to put it into action. You'd love to be running the show, but be careful because you may be coming on too strong. Remember, cooperation is important. Impulse can override logic. Pay attention to details and don't be too extravagant. I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank you for listening. These are just general predictions based on your sun sign. If you'd like more accurate information based on your time, date, and place of birth, go to my website, professorastrology.com. Go to the readings page, and there you'll find information on how to get a chart based on your information, and it'll be more accurate to you. Again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and share these videos with your friends because they're free. And I hope you have a great month.